Welcome to a new video of our Telerik Tips series. In this video, we'll be discussing push notification using Telerik backend services for iOS. Let's go through it step by step. Let's start with the first step and see how to create a certificate signing request.csr. For this one, I'm already logged in into App Builder and then under My Account Options Mobile iOS Cryptographic Identities and then click on the Create button. After entering the details, click OK and then you'll have the option to download it locally into your machine. I'm going to give it a name such as iOS Fat and Healy and then save it locally. Now let's move to the second step and see how to generate download a certificate.cr. For this one, I'm already logged in into the Apple Developer Portal where I'm going to start by creating a new certificate for iOS apps. I'm going to choose iOS App Development as a type and then click on the Continue button. Create a CSR, yes, generate, and then from here I'm going to browse to the same directory where I downloaded my CSR file from App Builder, and then click on the Generate button. Now that the certificate has been generated successfully, I can download it locally into my machine as a CR file. Now let's move to the next step and see how to complete the CSR. Back to App Builder, where my certificate has been selected, I can click on the Complete button and then browse to the iOS Development CR file that I just downloaded and then by that my certificate has been completed successfully. Now let's move to the next step and see how to register an app ID. Back to the Apple portal, under Identifiers App ID, I can click on the small plus and start creating a new app ID. Let's give my app ID a description such as PN app and then under the app ID suffix, I'll give it an explicit app ID such as app, and then don't forget under the app services to make sure that the push notifications has been selected and now we are ready to generate this app id now i'm gonna submit and by that my registration has been completed successfully let's move to step number five and see how to create a certificate signing request.csr same as the first step back to app builder we can click on the create button enter the details and then download it locally into our machine as a csr file this time I'm going to give it a different name, APS Fat and Healy, and then click on Save. Now let's move to step number six and see how to generate download a certificate.cr. For this step, back to the Apple Developer Portal, under Certificate, I'm going to start by creating a new one. This time the type is going to be Apple Push Notification Service SSL, and then click on Continue. I will select the app ID that we created in step number four, and then click Continue. Create the CSR file, click continue, and then browse to the APS Fat and Healy CSR file that we just created in App Builder. And then click on the generate button. Now that the certificate has been generated successfully, I can download it locally into my machine as a CER file. Before we move to the next step, I would like to show you the app ID details, specifically the push notification one. Where, as you can see, the Apple Push Notification Certificate has been attached to this app ID. Now let's move to step number 7 and see how to complete export the CSR. For this step, back to App Builder, where I can select the certificate that I just created, then click on the Complete button, browse to the APS Development CR file, and as you can see now, my Apple Push Notification Certificate has been completed successfully. I can highlight it and then click on the Export button, Give it a password and this will let me download it locally into my machine as a p12 file by that we're done with this step let's move to the next step and see how to generate download an ios provisioning profile for this step back to the apple developer portal under provisioning profile i'm going to start by creating a new one i'm going to choose ios app development as a type then the app ID that we just created in step number 4 and the certificate that we created in the first step and the device that I already registered. If you would like to check how App Builder can help you register your device, I encourage you to watch another video. And now we can give our provisioning profile a name such as PN app and then click on the generate button. Now that the provisioning profile has been generated successfully, I can download it locally into my machine as a mobile provision file. 
And by that, we're ready to move to step number nine and learn how to import your provisioning profile. Back to App Builder, where instead of starting from scratch with a blank project, I'm gonna clone an existing sample under advanced APIs called Telerik Backend Service Push Notification. Let's give it a different name, such as PN Application, and then click on the clone button. Now that my solution is ready, I can go under Account, Options, Mobile, iOS, Mobile Provision, and then click on the Import button, and then browse to the PN App Mobile Provision file. As you can see, my mobile provision has been imported successfully. And now we are ready to move to step number 10 and see how to create, configure a Telerik backend service push notification setting. For this step, I am already logged in into the platform.telerik.com where I created in advance a new workspace. And under this workspace, I'm going to create a new project of type backend service. Let's give my project a name. Let's say PN backend service and then click on the Create Project button. Now that my project has been created successfully, let's go Settings, Push Notification, let's choose iOS, make sure you upload the corresponding certificate, in my case it's a development one, and browse to the one that we exported from App Builder, enter the same password that we set previously, Click on Set as Active Certificate and then click on the Save button. And by that, we are ready to move to the last step and see how to start sending notification. Prior to start sending push notification, I would like to double check a few things in my App Builder project, which is under Properties, the Application Identifier to make sure that it's matching with the one that we specified previously, which is app. The second thing I would like to check is the plugins. I have to make sure that the push plugin is enabled. In case it's not available, you can download it from the Manage Packages plugin marketplace, look for the push notification, and then click on the Install button. Now, the last thing I need to check is the backend service API key. Let's go under Scripts, App, Main.js, and as you can see, we've got a variable called backend service API key. We need to get the value of this API key from the backend service project. API key, copy this value, and then paste it into the JavaScript file. And now we are ready to publish our application via App Manager, choosing iOS, the same provision profile that we created. And if you'd like to check how to get the app into your device, then I encourage you to watch another video. Now that I'm sharing my iPhone screen with you where the app has been installed and at the left hand side in my backend service project under devices, as you can see no items have been added yet. Let's launch the application, click on enable notification button, accept to receive notifications and then click on register button. And now if I refresh the devices page, as you can see my iPhone has been registered successfully and all of the device details can be found at the right hand side. Now let's close the application, go under push, click on add push notification. And as you can see, we have the option to send a notification to everyone or to a specific platform. Let's say to a specific platform iOS. When I tick send push notification, you can see it uh, the active devices number will get updated correspondingly. I can send to everyone or to a segment of people based on some rules that I can specify. Let's stick to send to everyone. And as you can see, I can send it either now or schedule it for later on. Let's type a message. Let's say, thanks for watching. And then click on the send now button. As you can see, the notification has been received on my physical device. And if I click on it, it will launch the application itself. Thanks for watching another video of our Telerik Tips.